Bergman. Wait, what? Wait, ten kids and one van? What? Okay, yeah, we're definitely watching this. Hi, YouTube. Yes, hi, YouTube. YouTube, we're watching... We're watching this. Wow. Kids sleeping on the floor, pets held in tiny cages, and this entire bathroom for a what? family of five. Add some teenagers what? who can't fit, children <laughs> calling their beds coffins, the and you're still just scratching the surface Twin, of the you. worst van life TikTokers. Take for example TikTok! Red Light and Bethune. They gained 11.4 million views by showing how terribly unspacious their kids' beds were. This should be illegal. Those kids are gonna suffer in that space man to make matters worse the beds had rock climbing holds instead of a ladder oh my god oh my god i've seen i've seen this oh my god i i i've seen the clip of this on on twitter man oh my god this is bad which their daughter almost fell from whilst trying to show they were easy to use so molly's going to demonstrate getting in the box and show you just how easy it is how will they get down in the middle of the night when it's dark and they want to use the restroom urgently what if they fall and hit their head these so-called bunk beds were actually just shelves yet the family still defended them as being spacious and at we're the same just time shelves. get this Yikes. the parents have a king size bed the reason why we put If I speak, I get banned. A king size I bed in quiet. our bus is because it's our lounging area. As well as a massive desk for editing TikToks, forcing the kids to do their schoolwork on a tiny kitchen table. If they don't help out with the van, the kids are punished publicly. Last night, Molly chose not to do her chores. And if our kids don't do their chores, they have consequences. which the parents still defended even after heavy criticism. Yes, our kids have consequences. Yes, if they don't do the chores, they're gonna have to pay. Into the troll. Pay? Just keep on talking shit and I'm gonna keep on posting. See you guys. Like, what are the consequences though? Like, obviously, like, if a child is being told to do something and they don't do it, yeah, obviously a, a, a parent is gonna punish them in some sort. It's like, but what's the punishment we're talking about? Is it like taking away their phone for an hour? Or is it like they sleep on the fucking floor? Or they sleep fucking outside? What kind of degree of punishment and consequences are we talking about here? Guys on your For You page. But wait, it still gets worse. Everything we've shown so far is in this bus here, yet they also have a van to take on holidays, which has even less space than the bus. Come take a peek inside and see what we've done. The van doesn't have a... Take away those kids, man. Get child protective services in here, man. Child protective services, man. No. Bed for everyone, meaning one of the kids sleeps on this leather chair. Maybe there'd be a bit more space if they didn't own four massive dogs, which are shoved in a tiny cage below the bed, yet they still have more space than the toilet. It's covered Jesus. by nothing but a thin fabric sheet and sits right in the middle of where everybody lives. Eek. They call Ooh. the vehicle their vancation home, meaning when the kids get tired of living in the first van, they're blessed with a trip in an even space. Yay! Smaller one. Family of Nomads <laughs> doesn't have this problem. In fact, they first went viral for how much space they had, oh, leading to spacious. comments such as, I don't understand why y'all don't just buy an apartment. It's way cheaper than this. People came to their defense stating, there is literally no reason to be mad at this. So far? Yeah, no, but they're in a Sunny V2 video. Let them cook. <laughs> Except for maybe how their kids were living. They'd show their room in this TikTok, with the most notable part being that their eldest Addison was a 15-year-old teenager. You should ask your daughter how she feels that she has no privacy. At an age Love like her hers, way. I'm sure she wants her privacy. Addison hates you. Just because this RV is nice and there's room for their clothes, it's no way to live. I'm sure the teenager would love to have privacy. Get her a curtain or something. Well, the family did exactly Exactly this. We did install these curtains over each of their bunks so they have a little bit of privacy. But it was still just one of many other problems. Uh, the kid. Uh, I. Why are you raising a kid in a van, man? What is wrong with you? 
What the fuck is wrong with you? Kids were in a homeschool program, yet it seemed of most they of were. their education was just walking through national parks where the parents thought they'd learn about life. <laughs> Our lives are one gigantic field trip, and so a lot of what the kids do are is by learning from experience. So, for example, today we went to a national park and they completed the junior ranger program, and it's incredibly educational. They're okay. They're learning okay. history from visiting different places around the country and days okay. that we're not going out exploring they do a traditional homeschool curriculum okay. and then the days that we're exploring we still count those as school as well so okay. they just learn sure. u.s history sure. lol when they go to college they'll be in for a shock Oof, okay. that's scary there's a reason schools aren't one giant field trip yep. and this is a very good point schools are for more than simply learning subjects they help build social if you don't learn about Texas in public school, are they not that different? That is true. Like, the school sucks, but it's better than this. <laughs> Frederick, welcome. It's always deserve a parent, but not every parent deserves a kid. That is way, 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 way true. Full circles and prepare kids for a disciplined way of life, both of which are neglected when strolling around the country. But the kids did have other challenges, like cleaning out the rat cage that stunk out the van. We live in a camper and our three kids have three pet rats and I would be absolutely lying to you if I said that it does not smell bad. Usually it's the kid's job to clean the rat cage, but about once every month or two, my husband and I will clean it yeah so we can post about it on tiktok i hate this oh my god God. And it just gets really gross. As well as collecting firewood, as seen in Addison's Day in the Life. Yet people were still convinced she's gonna run away at 16. Yet the mother so. went on to state, I honestly don't know a single unhappy RV kid. She'd even post the following yeah, because they're all brainwashed. to try and convince the audience. A lot of people ask us if the kids actually enjoy traveling full time and living in the camper. And I will have to say that while we were at the RV show in Tampa this week, Grace and Addison both went around and looked at campers because their plan is when they move out they want to live in a camper together and travel the country yeah brainwashed looking brainwashed till another video told a different story addison has struggled with their mental health for many years ah, i wonder why addison is currently back in treatment and won't be in our content during this time to protect addison during this time we would like to ask for privacy on this matter. Perhaps the daughter was unhappy for I a totally why. different reason, yet there was still more evidence that she despised the van. For Addison's 15th birthday, the only thing they wanted was to go to a hotel. The video has since been deleted. Although... No way. No fucking way. So after arriving at their hotel, twice Addison mentions liking doors in the video, a hint at them having less privacy in the camper. With conflicting messages wow. about Addison's happiness, people commented, Poor I Addison. can't wait for this gen of van kids to grow up and share their thoughts with the world, although this had happened much sooner than expected. On the r slash off my chest subreddit, an anonymous oh, account shit. made the following post. Let's I'm a go. teen in a full-time RV living vlogging family and I I can't stand it. I hate it. I hate it so much. I hate being homeschooled. I hate not being able to maintain a social life. I hate having so little privacy. I hate having to pretend to be happy with this. We travel full time. I know, I know, it sounds like a dream. I thought so too, but it's an effing nightmare. I just want a Man. private, normal life, but no. They had to ruin it with their crunchy way of parenting. It's all so fake, by the way. Not what I meant when I said I is. wanted to take up acting. I'm frustrated all the time, is. I'm tired all the time, I'm bored all the time. Please stop supporting these channels. Stop buying into it. It's ruined my life and I can't say anything about it. In comments the poster clarified, I'm between 15 and 17 years old and they were the oldest of three siblings, hinting it was Addison from Family of Nomad. Oh, 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 Edison, no. Exactly who the poster was has never been confirmed, yet only a couple of months later, the family announced they were instead buying a house. God. 
Thank God. Family of nomads recently quit van life. Their kids Thank seemed God. the happiest they'd ever been, oh while the God. parents were in tears as the RV was stored away. Bye. The eldest daughter has Good since riddance. vanished from the videos, with an unrelated comment summarizing what van life's like for kids. RV kid here. Let me tell you, RV is hell for children. I've been living in a camper with my three brothers and parents, and these past two years have been an absolute detriment to my mental health. Yes, it's an amazing opportunity <laughs> I've been given to have seen all the places that I have, but I cannot recall a single positive experience wow. anywhere I've been. I receive little to no education, and I'm scared I won't be able to pass my GED. I'll probably be repeating high school once I turn 18. The Jesus. happy caravan, however, clearly ignored this warning. That is so sad, man. Yeah, some parents just shouldn't be parents, man. They began by documenting their life as a family of 12 and were mostly 12! liked by the audience until revealing they lived in a tiny apartment. What? In two bedrooms? Bro, what the fuck? Bro! Bro. Is that legal? Having so many in a two bedroom? Why would you make the choice to have a family of 12 but not be able to provide them sufficient room slash space? Although their holiday setup was somehow even worse. They'd what? fit the entire family into one single airstream, <gasps> gaining 12 million views by showing how they slept. Left. The three daughters were on a table converted to a bed, while another two slept below their brother, who was sleeping in a bunk. A different brother slept on the couch, the baby in its cot, and of course the two parents had their own massive bed. So what about the last two kids? Well, they got to sleep directly on the hardwood, described as not perfect but more comfy than a tent. Where are child protective services, man? Where the fuck are child protective services? You have two kids sleeping on the floor just for vacation and we mix it up. In our YouTube video, dad is on the floor, which by doing some digging was seemingly true. Hilariously, after being criticized, the parents magically found Enoch a blow up mat in the closet. But for Whoa. the most part, the family isn't all that bad, especially compared to wild family life. There's They've more. been called the most hated van life family on TikTok, oh, mainly God. for their bizarre family dynamic. The page is run by mother Nadine, who lives in a van with her three kids, along with both her ex-husband and her new boyfriend, who she refers to as a homeless junkie she met on the streets. According to her TikToks, what? they're not polygamous but live together in harmony, being able to do so because they have the biggest front yard. The criticism, however, uh? always extends to the kids. They call their education program homeschooling, world schooling, travel schooling, adding they help whenever necessary, but they don't right. follow any official program. Technically, I don't follow what? any curriculum, but we have this app uh, my kids learning with. They set their times each day. They do that by themselves. There's nothing I have to do. Help them if needed explains everything. Doomed to fail. They'd respond yeah. to the hate with the world's most hippie message. The only way to deal with an unfree world is to become so absolutely free that your very existence is an act of rebellion. Adding their this is so beyond cringe, man. So fucking cringe. Bro, what the fuck? Kids are extremely satisfied with the life that they're living. People think, oh, poor children, poor children. But trust me, my children, they wake up with a smile in their face. I'm they sure go to they bed do. with a smile in their face. But I'm it's sure. perfect to finish with this comment here. When I was a child, I would have been very happy to eat nothing but candy and potato chips all day. But my mother did not let me because she knew better. It's a parent's job to do what's best for their children, not just what makes them happy. Well, sometimes parents don't know what's best for their children, though. Jesus Christ, man. That was a hell right. Bro, that was so bad. Jesus.